Hello folks, happy summer. So today I'm going to show you guys how to put Windows operating system onto your new MacBook Pro with Retina Display. Or if you have an older MacBook Pro, you just have to change up a few of the directions depending on if you have a MacBook with a uh, DVD drive or if you have just a normal, uh, the more recent ones without it, a little slimmer Pro's, Pro line. So I'm just going to show you a quick little step how to start it up. You just go into Boot Camp, Boot Camp Assistant. Let me just enter the password. And it's really cool. It's only for MacBooks that have Intel-based CPUs, which for the most part, chances are that's what you have. Um, so the first thing you would do is go down here to Launchpad. Go to Other and bootcamp assistant which is this right here you'll say bootcamp assistant you'll see it you'll know it and you click that and that's what starts everything now the one thing you're gonna need you need two things you're gonna need a USB thumb drive um, I purchased a 32 gig you can get there's a 32 gigs on sale everywhere for like 20 bucks you can get it at Best Buy or Staples. Staples has it for this week which is June 27th 2013 so there's a bunch of sales. 20 bucks for a 32 gig. You may only just need a 16. I got a 32 gig just in case it needed all that space um, and on here the second thing you're going to need and you have to find it Google it uh, Windows 7 uh, ISO image and that's what you're going to need to actually install because since it doesn't have a disk uh, the new Pro Retina, the new uh, MacBook Pros, the Retina display doesn't have a disk. You're going to need a uh, USB thumb drive to to actually uh, boot, use as a bootable disk. So you need a thumb drive and you need a uh, ISO image, Windows 7 ISO. And if you Google Windows 7 ISO image, you'll find a bunch of stuff. Just remember that you're going to need a license to uh, activate it. So if you have a disk, you can use that license, I guess. Um, if it's a full install disk. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is uh, once you boot up Boot Camp Assistant, it's going to give you three things that you're going to have to make sure you do. First thing, create a Windows 7 or later version install disk. That's where you need the USB flash drive and everything. Um, then you download the latest Windows support. So it'll do everything for you. Um, and well this is giving me the option to remove because I already have it but uh, it would be three options the third option would say install Windows 7 it doesn't support Windows 8 for now someone I did see a few people uh, on YouTube get Windows 8 on there but it's not running like it should Windows 7 runs on here as if this was a you know Windows computer so you know I wouldn't jump to Windows 8 yet plus Windows 8 isn't that great in my opinion I think Windows 7 is still the best uh, Microsoft OS um, once you do that you insert the thumb drive it runs its process and everything it gives you the option here this is the uh, Pro Retina 250 gigabyte I split it down the line so I, I gave uh, you know 125 125 uh, for uh, Windows 7 and MacBook so that's how I do that and once that's finished uh, everything it, it loads all the recent files for Windows 7 and everything boots up properly so once that happens then we can shut down and I can show you how to load Windows 7 so once the computer is completely off what you do is you press the power button but before you press the power button, you need to hold down the option key. So you hold down the option key, press the power button, and while it boots up, you will see the options here. Come on, there you go. So now you have the normal Macintosh that it normally boots to. This is the recovery disk, you don't need to worry about that. And that's the Windows 7 that I already installed. So just click that and then it boots the normal Windows 7.
So we let that load and voila. So Windows 7 here takes full advantage of every single uh, hardware spec inside the computer. Um, I'm running at a resolution since this is the you know Pro MacBook Pro with Retina display. I'm running at the resolution of 2560, I believe, by 1600. I'm going to check it right now, actually. Let's go to the control panel. No resolution. Yeah, so the resolution is 2560 by 1600, which is amazing. I mean, especially when you open up a browser page, you can see everything vividly, and it's beautiful. Um, I did run the, which, you know, this benchmark, no one really cares too much about, but just to give you a little idea, for as far as Windows... The Windows Experience Index, we all know that's what you use to rate how good it is. It got a 5.9. And as far as the processor, which is once again an i5 dual core processor, got a 7.1 out of 7.9, which is great. The second one is the memory, which is 8 gigabytes of RAM, 7.4 out of 7.9, which is amazing. The graphics uh, for the desktop performance, Windows Arrow thing, got a 5.9 out of 7.9. 7.9. So that comes with the Intel 4000 integrated graphics. You know, not the greatest thing, but I don't really play games except for like Half Life, so it's not still great. It's still 5 out of 7. Um, the next one is the 3D Business Gaming Graphics Performance, which is 6.4 out of 7.9. And the last is the primary hard hard drive which is a solid state drive 256 gigabyte which is 7.9 out of 7.9 so it's very fast so you know this isn't like some emulator running well it is an emulator but it's not like it's you know running uh, Windows 7 without taking advantage of it. It performs great it takes advantage of every single uh, every single processor and chip inside here Oh, not connected to the internet. So yeah, that's a brief look. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask how to get the image. I can't post the link to the image, you know, but there's tons of places to get them. Uh, if you have any other questions on how to do anything, give me, just give me a shout. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you. Thanks for watching.